in this session let's learn about lag and lead okay we know these functions are used to analyze the data over a period of time example previous month versus this month or this month versus next month or last year versus this year you see how we can compare the data over a period of time there are two functions whenever we are doing such kind of analysis lag and lead okay lag helps you in navigating back like going to your previous month previous quarter like that whereas lead navigates friend it navigates to the next month next quarter next year like that okay here in this example i am showing you the current month which is the total amount which is the current month sales amount lag which shows the previous month sales amount and lead which shows the next month of this month sales amount okay and you see here one this is nothing but your offset that means how many positions i need to move if i say one it moves back one if i say two it moves back two months if i say three it moves back three months in the same way in the lead if i say one it moves front forward by one if i say two it moves forwards by two so now let's go and check this exam so let me take the sales out here okay sales person out of the equation and entire function and say trunk of sales state man as sales month okay comma and let me display the data group by sales month let me take this out okay and let me run this okay by sales month it displayed the sales amount okay now let's find out what's the previous month sales and what's the next month sales for each given month okay so for that for the previous month i need to use lag so lag so what do i need to show i need to show the sum of sales amount so how many months do i need to go back so one okay over order by so whenever it is moving back it needs to order right so order by this column so which is the sales month column so as previous month and let me run this okay it shows the data you see previous month there is no data before january right so it will be null for february the previous month is 2000 which is january's data see you see that 2000 so for march the previous month is february so it showed february that so now for april the previous month is march so it showed 63060 over here like this for every given row it shows the previous month sales amount okay what if you want to show the next month sales amount so let me copy this comma paste this instead of lag let me say lead and here let me change the name to next month see for january the next month is february right so february was 25440 so it is here and for february next month is march so 63060 so it displayed here like this the next month column shows the total amount for the next month cool right see how simple it is to look the data over a period of time right 